I just didn't have it twisted the right way. Oh well, now it won't be out in the way too badly. And this light usually stays over here looking over my toolbox sometimes. I don't need to turn another light on them. Or, you know, I usually at least turn one of them on, but this one stays here. Kind of. This thing will adjust, you know. You can make it that way, or you can make it just barely enough to stand in. And so I do it that way so it won't stick out into the room as badly. I'm not using it right now, so I think I'll just do that a little bit. And, uh, what I was fixing to do, ladders back in their places. gonna let's go up a little higher so you won't just be looking at my waist whenever I do stuff if I'm gonna that's what the widescreen uh, cameras are cool but they're you know uh, in some you know that the old style um, Square, more square TV screen style. You actually kind of easier work to decide where to put the camera. You can, you know, you get get some height. Get it, it feels like there's less height. I don't. There's not. But it feels like empty so that I can uh, make sure I get the right stuff. I think I know now but at first I was like I didn't know if I needed to have it for ingredients you know but yeah, I don't think there's any on there and so yeah I, I swept this thing out. Almost all the leaves out from here. The other day. The other day or earlier today. All you gotta do is open. Let's see, I don't wanna I don't wanna sweep all the glass outside, but I don't wanna try to pick up all the leaves right now either. So here we go. I'm going to just get the glass for the most part. And uh, here's my pit up thing. That's what a rolling chair is for. Let them see you doing that work. Work, but I'm going to sweep the wind will blow it back in. 
I don't really want to open the door right now. Well, maybe I should open it once. Uh, make sure everything's okay. So maybe I will open it. Take that stuff out. And, uh, there we go. I see that I've got to lose up in here where the chairs sit and where they roll. So I can get some of that out of there. No. Not necessary to sweep up, but I started doing it, so now I'm doing it. Now, I don't know how that made me think of it, but I heard, a, I think it was an acorn hitting the garage door, or falling, yeah, and uh, somehow I remembered a nail fell and got caught in the, it's like almost little shelves in that door the way it's made. Oh yeah, the other thing is that fell was the uh, bracket that was holding that. I still don't know where that is. that Allen, uh, that wing nut on the desk and maybe it'll remind me to go look for it. You think that'll work? We'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm going to open the door. I got the garage door open. I used to keep it in my truck, but since I'm carburetor's over here under the bench waiting for me to rebuild it, uh, I decided to leave it in here so I don't have to walk all the way up back to the other end of the garage door. <laughs> Fresh air right quick. So, uh, what I was going to do, well, uh, what got me, how I ended up just doing that forever, is I wanted to put this tripod right there, and aim it like that, so that, well, I'll do it like that. So stuff over here on that side started falling just because I looked, looked at it but I could get a while you know I can get further back and just not move the camera you know leave it aimed at where I'm working I know just now I kind of had a where I could just walk by I guess is all it Suppose I have no reason to keep running the video. Oh, I, I want to turn this over because it's so dirty, but I kind of hate to put all that dirt down on the seat of the chair. 
It's really there. I'm going to leave the dirty side up. It's really there to uh, not to protect the chair, but the chair's itchy. These chairs were on the side, uh, on the side, on the curb when I got at some point. I think the same day I got that desk. Maybe they were at different times. But anyways, the same at neighbor. They were completely. The the parents died. The last parent, the mother died. Last one died, and one of the daughters. We grew up with them. Uh, re, you know, decided to buy the house and remodel it. And now she lives there. Oh, holy crap. It went down. Okay. Not sure about what, what I've got wrong here, but I got something wrong. But I'll, I'll figure it out here in a minute. There's sacks with holes in them. Maybe that's why they're there. They got holes in them. There's a bunch of. I mean, they're gonna use the little bit there. Oh great! They had leaves and stuff in here. I'm just all that sweeping I did. I just dumped a load of leaves and crap right there where I sweep. I'm gonna throw it. Which one just throw all these away? I think I will. I mean, I usually don't do that, but. Uh. Uh. got holes in them and everything. And if they've got crappy, dirty stuff in them. They're just always going to be a pain. They're always going to be dumping that stuff out. Try to use them. Get spill them out. So. I had the floor all clean. Not that it, the next time you open the door, leaves will blow in. and would be a bunch of dirt like that. But every, uh, you can open the door and, and I'm, I'm, you know, in seconds, you got the whole floor full of leaves again in here. Because that's just how the wind blows, you know, right there. I mean, it just blows through, especially if you got that back door open. Actually, if you got the back door open, you can't get the air to circulate from the front door to the back. It always goes from the back to the front. See, I learned to work with that. Like, well, if I'm doing something where I... Well, if I want to turn on a fan, like it was hot and I want to turn on a fan, which I, you know, I do. Uh, then you can have to let the air go the way it wants to go. And, uh, and if you're trying to get fumes out or dust out when you're working on something, grinding or, or something, same thing. So, uh, now what we're going to do with this bucket, I've Bucket and all that. This thing, no matter what you do, it gets, you step on it, it does that. I don't know if you can see it, but I didn't put that there. That one was actually not mine. This. Ah, okay. Oh, that's my holy battery thing. I'm going to figure out where I can put. This bucket. It used to have a good place somewhere. I think. Now it's up there. There we go. But its place is still there. It's just with my image place. According to me, anyway. And I can do it too, I guess. This trash can here used to be under my workbench, but when I got my air compressor, it uh, had to change its place. Okay. Now that'll do. Okay, now. Yeah. You want to look at that? I actually do wash these things once in a while. They're, you know, old bath rugs. 
keep thinking, well, I'll come out here in my good clothes and sit down at the... Sometimes I actually sit down and mess with those computers. Not very often anymore. Let's see. And I'll, uh... Get, there might be some... Well, there actually looks like there might be some grease on that side if there's any grease anywhere. I'm not going to like that sawdust off of that. I mean, <laughs> Let's see, where was that thing at? I hate to put it's not messed up it's just co it, it only wasn't, didn't go through wood it only went through I think I'll leave it out I don't want to put it in because there's silicone on those other screws and that silicone is soaked up by that chalk you know from the sheet rope so uh I don't have some to weigh it no. I haven't figured out where the that is so long. different in my arrangement. I don't know what it is. It's a fine line there where you got to put stuff so that you can get by. Well, so that you can roll the trash cans out. That's the one thing that's aggravating if you don't have the way you can roll the trash cans out. It's, it, I would have never got to work outside. It's... It's not. It's just raining a little and quitting and raining a little and quitting. I mean, I would have if I'd been able to do that at the beginning like I planned. But when I had trouble with the electrical thing. I, I, you know, I'm really glad I got more light now, though. Because every anytime I try to come out here and do anything, if, even in the daytime, I can't see. I have to go out there in the driveway to do it. I can't see in here to do anything. Now there's enough light, I can see do something. That made a huge difference. It did. So, uh, especially at night when your eyes are adjusted, you know, if the, if the door is open, it's daytime, then of course, if you go out in the sun and come in here, then of course you can't see nothing. But, I've sat in here for long periods of time, and maybe to stay in here in front of a fan or something, and I still couldn't see Okay, now I'm going to put the drill up. Actually, I had the thought that I needed a taller chair for that, and I did. This one's just got to set up the computers, and this one is better if you need it a little harder. It's really not good to leave it for me anymore. I used to just leave, you know, my screwdriver thing in there. But uh, I drop it. You saw how much it drops stuff. So I don't want you drop one of those and it'll bend it and then you can't use it no more. You really just I've gotten more stuff in the last few years in here, so it's trickier to get this to fit in there. There, I got mine out of there. I don't think it 
should be on top of that box of thrills, though. I think they're a little bit strong. A little clasp around it. Oh, he's missing. Thought they were on here when I got it out. Well, I know. Oh, yeah. I think the other one of them has fell on, fallen off. It, it wouldn't be inside of here unless it was being put inside of here. If you slide all the way off, they'll slide left and right. It might be in here. I don't think so. I see a bunch of brand new screws there. That must have gotten dropped. Let's put it in there. Oh, that's part of the thing. Okay. Well, maybe I'll find it. Came, come off a few times over the years and I've always found it. As much as I've dropped stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow, come on, scroll. I had it sitting on top of those things. I don't think I've got a spot big enough for me. So I got it out from. I don't want it back there. <laughs> Put the foam and stove back where it was for now. That's how it works for now. Actually, though, I do end up doing like this. Once, what, when I come out here to do a project, I end up straightening things up, spending as much time straightening them as I did working. Paper towels, why they're all, if you wonder why they're all folded and everything and ready to go, is because they've already been used once to clean the glasses. I don't like to waste. So I, uh, I just, you know, I use them to clean the glasses and, and, and I, this is about all I want to use them for because, it, you know, I can't clean the glasses again. I don't want to blow my nose on them or anything like that because, uh, that glass is cleaner. Will eat up your skin. That, uh, I ha my skin gets bleed, cracks and gets bloody after just two or three uses of, you know, if I don't use a one of these little, I start I use I just keep one blue glove in my room in there to. I mean I have several of them, but I just put one on my right hand and use it to clean the. And I hate those things. I can't wear them to work in. Of course, you get holes in them real quick. But the main thing is they. I think my hand sweats so bad that they just start sliding off my hands, and then I could break my skin breaks out from uh, that. Evidently, I'm uh, allergic to those things. I gotta find a better place. I know when I come to get that chair out, or that ladder out, that chair will uh, be coming out with it. And Bit of windshield wiper fluid. I'll put that down here. Oh, 
we go. Okay. So this core needs to go back up in here. It looks like it didn't fit. I thought this last one was going to stay here after it came out since. That's the other one. There we are. Yeah, it's not a very. It's in a mess. So I'm not going to go crazy. I didn't get out with just a little bit of it. Funny thing, I've always, uh, right for, uh, ever since I was 18 years old, I guess that boss I had who taught me to do maintenance and all, he had me wrap them up like this. It's fast, but then as soon as you take your elbow and your hand out of there, they just want to wrap up in a knot. And I've always done it anyway, because I didn't really think there was a better way. But, uh, I did learn back in the early 90s to roll up audio cables almost have to show you but you just kind of you f you twist them a little you can feel what's getting them in a bind and you, you don't put them around your elbow that binds them up you either roll them down in a pile or hang them on a hook and just keep getting making sure they're straight and anytime I do that I have some hooks to hang my cords on the only reason is because all this junk over here you've probably seen it uh, all, let me, all this i got to put my toolbox tray on there. When I'm talking about what? When I'm talking uh, to the video, to me it's kind of like somebody's here, you know. And, uh, but I can, I can, put, when there's a person, you just walk around and do your thing and they can look at you or not, you know. But, uh, whoops. I thought there was something weird about that. Let's see. There. That loosened up on me. But the camera won't look at you unless you aim it at you. So this is what I was fixing to do. Uh, so I spent just you know, going on about my stories without thinking about what the camera is. And then, I'm, and then, I, even, then I realized, oh, the camera's not aiming, and I stopped and talked to the camera. So... Sticky, that one I use some of the tape on. It's the stickiest one. That's why they're in this bag because they were getting black sticky junk all over everything. Uh, they don't exactly fit in here the way they used to. There we go. Plus, I've got me some a whole bag of uh, valve stems from them. I only needed one, but you know, I, looked, I was looking them up and they're really pretty. Just as well buy a bunch of them. So I figured, you know what, I ought to have at least four or five of them in case, you know, one for every tire, not a bad idea. But actually, I had two vehicles, so I think I bought a pack of eight or ten. <laughs> so, got enough for pretty much all my. I guess I'll put my hammer back up there so that the next time I want it, it'll be there. Okay. Now, that's what I wanted to do. Is so finished up and get everything back in it. Let's see if I've got all the tools back. It looks like they're all back. Except for the ones that I want to go in the house. Oh, there's one thing. This this electric is supposed to doesn't need to be. I don't know where to put it. I want to make sure I don't damage its little wire. Looks like maybe it's gonna get scorched by my I don't like it down there. I like it. Things are not fitting like they used to. But I sometimes get up there just while I go. I was walking on it to want to plug in that cord. I talking, earlier I was talking about the cord that I was plugging into a power strip that was turned off. And then I realized, oh yeah, I mean, I wanted it turned off because my air compressor's plugged into it and I didn't want to run it. And, you know, making a video, I didn't want to hear it. And, didn't need it. And then I realized uh, that was my power. After my, my phone battery ran down, well, an hour or two or three later, I finally happened on what, what went wrong. 
That was probably the phone barrier went down because it was plugged into a cord that wasn't plugged in. That don't work real well. Let's see. I don't really need that little light on. I just have an area trim. Okay, so, uh, okay, a couple more things to put away in here, or to get out of the way, or whatever. Let's see. First, these boxes that I stacked on top of my washer dryer parts. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, of all things. Let's see. I'm going to want this over here in a minute. I didn't get that all fixed up right. My chairs don't fit. Oh, yeah, they do. They just fit. Okay, good. So, uh, let me turn you back up again. And, uh, hello. What was I going to show you? Let me tighten that thing up, and now it doesn't want to spin. So, yeah. With broken-legged tripods, crooked is what you get. Okay, so this box of parts, I really like wanted to be up in there, but I didn't feel like uh, climbing up there and doing that. This one, huh. oh, this one was making me laugh. And I don't really want it up in here, but this is a absolute complete box full of this. This is really good. Gravy mix, and you know, you pay 50 cents to a dollar each for something like that. It comes in the chicken that I eat every night for supper, and I like it, but it is pretty salty. And it's a, I don't like, uh, I'm not, I'm not good. If you see me fumbling around, see me in the, I used to, I used to cook when I was a kid and a teenager, and I thought I was good at it, but uh, used to cook dinner, but uh. Anyway, you know, trying to cook. I never was good at cooking gravy anyway, but this, you know, you just put water in it. I can do it, but uh, I don't like doing it. And then I figured out how to uh, do it in the microwave, but it just got, I don't know if the microwave makes it even more salty, but no matter how it's cooked, sometimes my mom used to make it pretty often, and it was tasted better when she made it. Of course, everything did, <laughs> just because, you, you know, when your mom makes it. But uh, what's this? Like Westinghouse dryer repair kit. Yeah, all those kind of things I want up there. Uh, wasn't going to stack all that stuff back here. Oh, ice maker. Just got through. This is the old ice maker. Just got put through putting in a new ice maker. Yeah, every one of those I was thinking about putting them over there, but there's really no, it's not enough room. So, uh, yeah, these are a bunch of my. my basket that I have I can just carry around brand new screws and, and, and I see that was what kind of made me kind of go around and around figuring out what to, where, where to get screws you know looking at all those little well I mean it doesn't matter where I look I was just trying to be her in a hurry and I wasn't being in a hurry and these things I guess I'll put them right back where they were for now uh So the uh, one can't. Since I was actually trying to make videos about the camera, this will close with. Ow! It's pinching my finger. We'll close with putting him back in his box for the. Uh, Till the next time I'm going to do this. Because uh, you know what? think I'm actually done and I can go in and get a bath. I did eat my supper. I just ate my, my big supper, what I usually eat for, for supper. I usually can't see. You know what? I wonder. No, I don't think the chair's down any lower. This one's... The way it goes down a lot when you sit on it, but it's better. It's just like a better height. That thing fills up. Maybe it's. Maybe I used to keep it up a little harder than that. But it feels too low to even, you know, see up over the desk. Okay, so this power supply. Kind of, this is not the way it really goes in there, but if I put it in kind of like that. Then, then the camera will kind of go in there. 
if I take if I take the the last time I did get it to go in there I took the uh, antenna off and put it down in the box so I'm going to do that kind of worried I'm going to break it you know not not to uh, Yeah, I think I'm doing something like that. Or maybe this. Yeah. And then put that on top of there and it will actually still shut. How about that? How many times do you get something back in its original box like that? Okay, so <coughs> that you ready to go in <coughs> the phone <up> <coughs> that I was gonna <coughs> use to check the um, the tiny cam, it has tiny cam on it. Is it going to open? It's been sitting here running all evening and it only went down to 85%, which is probably not that. That's pretty good because I thought this battery was in worse shape. It doesn't want to open up. Am I, is my hand too dirty to do capacitive touch? Well, now it worked. You just got to get let it know you mean business. Toggle video stream makes snapshot share security settings. I guess I kept hitting it. Yeah, okay, there we go. But of course, the cameras are in the box, it's not running. So, yeah, I just wanted to see where's the uh, I guess you go up there to add a camera and stuff. Yeah, camera settings somewhere you add a camera in here, anyway. I, I've brought it back out here left it out here because i thought i was going to hang the camera and i and since i was going to just be making videos like this not live streaming i thought well hey now i can use this thing to because this was the one i used for audio and i found out yesterday that when i turned it on the tiny cam pro it killed my audio it took away the audio from my ip webcam so uh i thought well i can use it to monitor this live stream now and uh yeah this is cam 3 got the battery in it Okay, because I'm having to, you know, I've got, now see, there it went. I flipped it over. Now I went to Google Maps. This one's acting crazy. I, I don't know. Well, I, I suspect, it could be just that it's beginning to go bad, but I suspect, I don't see, I've seen this, uh, get out of there. I've seen this lift up on one of the corners, and I've seen light out from under it. That's how come I knew. Oh, there we go. Oh, that was just kind of loose. I mean, it is swollen. If you, if you can see it the way I'm holding it, but swollen quite a bit. Uh, and there's only one, the other one, one battery that's, and this one's not holding the charge, you know, it's not staying running as long as it used to. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Oh, look, I hit the back button and it brought up the weather. Yeah, that's what's been crazy things have been going on. Oh, now it, it went into that zoom in. And I, you know, you have to do the two pinch. Look at that. Every time I hit the back button, it's opening something different up. It is flat not working. I, I think something's gone wrong with it. I don't, no, I don't think that's because of the battery, because this battery stays in camera two all the time and it works just normal. I'm afraid that it's actually okay now. If you kind of, I guess if you. You, do, you don't hit it too hard, but not too lightly either, then it'll work right. I'm just going to turn it on. Oh, look at that. I was going to turn it off and did that. Yeah, it's... I don't. I think I'll quit trying to use this one. Maybe if I buy, you know, I'll try it again with... Well, I could put that battery from phone one in it. Yeah, I had that in there the last few days, and it... It was already acting... The last time I had that battery in it, it was acting up. Oh, this phone might be going bad. That's sad. So it may not, it may, I may not be needing another three, three new batteries. I may only want two, as long as those other phones are still working okay. There's my little multimeter. That's real good. It was only like twenty nine, thirty nine dollars. It, it, one cool thing about it, uh, if you have these plugged in the wrong ones, it'll blink a red and it'll say hey, you need to put, you know, put you. It, it, one of them, you know, like if you've got one, I don't know how to explain it, but I think it even tells you somehow. I guess I could just, like I said, if I was, uh, okay, see now, if I was going to do, uh, forgot what that UA is, but 
Okay, so that wasn't the right one, see? Oh, and it makes a horrible beeping noise, but there you go. It tells you how to plug it up. So that is uh, UA. I, that's not capacitance. I think, is that part of the... Yeah, I guess, no, I forgot what it is. I'd wish it had words on it, though. Let's see, HFE, now that is a capacitor. It does test capacitors. Oh, UA, oh, HFE, UA, MA. MA is milliamp. HFE is one of the ways they mark capacitance. So this would be the, one of the capacitance testers, and then this would be another one. And then that one there, you know what? I don't know what it is. Well, you got to go over there. That'd be for 10 amps. That's the 10 amp. No fuse. That bypasses the fuse. But but you can go. Uh, yeah, this is calm. It's labeled calm, so you know that you would want. If you're going to me measure, you want to measure something that's 10 amps. It still won't help you on a car battery. They're much more than 10 amps. But uh, the normal one for AC and DC electricity. That one. And that's the way I'd mostly leave it. I have used it the capacitance tester, and I think I, it seemed to work really well. I got the results I was expecting, you know. That never works to roll that up. I, I keep it in its box, but the box is in the house. Oh, you know, I never remember that that's there. I can hear what you can do with this thing. Ow. Well, that's a good way to poke yourself in. How do you get it to stay? It's too tight. It won't go in. Oh. I guess that's why I never do it. It doesn't want to go in there. But look there. It's got slits in it. Yeah, you'll hurt yourself getting that in there. I don't believe that. Maybe you're supposed to just do that. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. You don't snap them in that way. I thought that Hey, no, that's not no, that's not good because when I grab it, those are the sharpest dadgum points. I think if I was going to do anything with it, this would be what I would do with it. If I left it out all the time, that's what I would do. You know, you could leave it like that. <laughs> it's ready to go, but the wires are all over the place. That is kind of okay. I don't know that it's a good way to carry it because you're just... Um, Everything is so dirty, and I, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to touch the mat, touch the mouse to anything or do anything. Usually, I just grab my air compressor and blow it all off before I, if I'm going to really do anything, you know, on the computers out here. But if I, when I'm out here working on things like the cars and things, especially, well, sometimes I have turned this on and. And and go on YouTube to my live feed to watch and, and manage my you know make sure my live feed's going. But with my routers, I use these routers up here. I'm always talking about them. Uh, well, there's only one up there now. I say routers, but it's been two different ones. Okay, that's my the old Linksys. If I can find it, the Linksys WGRT. 45 or 54 54 uh, good router but uh, it, I, I use it for years and uh, the wired part was the same you know 100 megabits and 54 on wireless uh, of course all every almost everything I have is I don't have anything wireless that's faster than well yes I do uh, that Acer laptops a faster it's a gigabit wired so it's probably faster wireless anyway yeah it is it's See, I forgot how fast it is. It's faster than 54. Uh, anyway, it's not actually on. It's just the lights reflecting on it. But I'll set it up as a wireless. I put DDWRT on it so I could set it up as a wireless repeater. And it already did have uh, one of the wired ports gone dead on it. And after being out here a while, the wireless seemed to, was working fine. 54 megabits. After being out here in the heat and cold for a year or two, it won't get more than a, uh, 2 megabits. So the heat you know, messed up the electronics, the heat and cold. Probably maybe, the, I don't know if the, mo the moisture might, but I mean, you know, your house, you open your windows, you get, you get humidity in there too, you know, you take a shower, you know. Uh, and the other one, it's, yeah, it's somewhere else now, it's sitting over on the bench, I think. Zone Net, it lasted for quite a few years. 
uh, and it was 150 megabits wireless and uh, actually it got hit by lightning and it was my favorite it was one of my favorite routers I, I mean it was my main router it got hit by lightning and it uh, um, just uh, jabbering away and not uh, see he got hit by lightning and uh, and yes those rabbit ears do help doing a stupid thing to the camera again. I don't know if you can see them. Can you see the shiny thing on the left of the behind the uh, router? Those, those are homemade uh, like range extenders. They actually work on that one. They really don't work much or actually even hurt on some of the other routers. Uh, it's just I, I but those something about the way those antennas work and everything it actually um, made the single very strong single much noticeably stronger between you know and it's picking up the signal of the routers in the far end of the house of my router and, and repeating it so it you know it makes the garage wi-fi better but i can't use it and also i turned that thing i turned that power switch on and turned it on and then i thought wait that thing doesn't work right it only does two megabits it's liable to really slow down my cameras turned it back off and that could have that could have been why my video froze. It might have they might have you know hooked right up to it my video and my audio froze and that usually doesn't happen didn't happen the other day. That's probably what killed my audio and video and froze it froze because that's just what it does. That's what OBS does. It it just freezes the last signal it got instead of just going black. Uh, so, uh, but the zone net was really good. Uh, for years uh, until it got to doing that and it I think it was doing a little better than two megabits maybe five to ten whenever I decided to quit using it and you start using this one but now it's just as bad as this one I've tried it it's sitting right over here on the bench but uh, I don't know if it's where I can show it but it doesn't matter uh, So anyway, what do you think I've jabbered long enough? I think I've jabbered way long enough. So I'm going to quit now. And I've uh, gotten that thing tied up so much now I can't turn it. So I'm going to quit and take this junk in. I don't, if you didn't see a good view of this thing, there it is. But it, yeah, it was a good. It's a good meter. Lots of lots of functions. I've had it quite a few years now. I don't use it very often at all. I keep it in the house, so I can't say that it, you know whether or not it's rugged. <coughs> but boy, those dorm batteries. What a shame. <coughs> yeah, well, I'm quitting. I'm coming in now. Finally, got something done. So I'm gonna go.